concerts. My name is Paul. This is the fantastic Royal Scottish National Orchestra and the conductor, Jerry Doherty. Let's give him a clap.
Our next composer is a man called Handel, George Frederick Handel. Handel is even older than Mabel. He was born in Germany in 1685. Handel was one of the first ever dance composers because much of his music actually was danced to. Although it's very difficult to compare this music now with the pieces we danced to then, really the piece we're about to play was something that actually brought people danced to for fun at parties on a Saturday night, who knows? We're going to play a piece by Handel called a Saraband. A Saraband is a dance style that originated in Latin America in the 15th century. The Saraband came to Europe in the 16th century to Spain, where the king thought it was so. How can I put it? People got a little bit hot and bothered when they danced the Saraband, so they came back far. It was too risky. The Saraband eventually made its way to Britain in the 17th century, but actually they made it very safe for everybody to dance to. No one was going to get jiggy dancing to Saraband, so it was slow to ride down. It was a very, very slow dance, and it's a slow dance. Handel wrote many of the Sarabands for an instrument called the harpsichord. Harpsichord is like a baby piano. There you go there. It's got a keyboard, that one's in fact got two keyboards. And that's really what people play before they have pianos. A much lighter sound isn't able to play quite so loud. I reckon we all know Handel's Saraband. You might not know that you know, but if you watch Kelly, you definitely do. Can we hear just a bit of Thank you. 
to make a symphony. I know uses one tune to make a sour band. Our next composer, Igor Stravinsky, used a story to make an old ballet sort of music. Stravinsky was a Russian composer, and I think he was probably one of the greatest composers of the last century, maybe even the greatest. Stravinsky wrote a lot of music for the theatre, especially for dance, for ballet. Ballet is simply telling a story by dance with some fantastic music. We're going to play some music today from Stravinsky's ballet, Firebird. And I think we've got a little picture there. There you go. The lady in red is in fact the Firebird. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to do it, unfortunately, without any dance. And that's because Stravinsky's music is so good, you actually don't need any dancers. Before we play the Barber Suite all the way through, I'm going to show you how Stravinsky made his music. Show you some things that you should listen out for and let you know how Stravinsky changed the story of the Barber actually into music. The piece is divided into six sections, and I'm going to give you just one or two things to listen in each section. So, if we begin with the story, it's based on two Russian folk tales that have been fused together. I'm really derived from anything ever made by Disney. It's kind of a crazy plot. It's all about an evil magician called King Kachan. And he lives in a strange and mysterious place. And his favorite thing is kidnapping princesses. And if you're a prince, you get turned into stone. Kachan is the kind of person that makes Anne Robinson look kind and caring. <laughs> Stravinsky worked really, really hard at making his music sound evil so it would be appropriate for King Kachan. And he really did capture that spirit in the music. So the Firebird Suite begins with the first movement with a very soft but sinister sound. <laughs> Prince Ivan very stupidly is broken into King Kachai's magical garden and have no idea 
butterfly and he sees the firebird. And so he decides to try and catch it. So we have this section of music where I can run to my garden chasing after the firebird. It's very, very difficult, difficult for Adam to catch the firebird. So the next section you're going to hear sounds like someone's chasing something, but it's always moving away. <laughs> Thank you. 
flash magnetics. But then Alvin very cleverly remembers the magical feather to the two planet firebirds, so he waves it in the air. The firebird appears and it says that in the corner of the room is a casket, and in the casket is an egg, and in the egg is King Kachai's soul. If Ivan smashes that egg, Kachai will die, his, all his evil magic will be undone, and everybody will be free. So that Ivan does exactly that, which leads him free to marry his beautiful princess that he's known for about five minutes. So, the final move is just a really, really beautiful tune. It begins in the French horn and it gets passed through the orchestra. <laughs>
whom he had to do it actually still alive. So our next composer is a chap called Michael Nyman. Michael Nyman is a British composer and he really is a very modern composer. Modern in all senses of words in terms of he writes music not just for an orchestra, but he's also written soundtracks for films. He wrote music for the French railways when they unveiled the new high speed trains. They'll never arrive in the UK. And also, he wrote the soundtracks to computer games as well. He wrote the soundtracks to the game NG0. We're going to play a bit of Michael Lyman's music now from a film called Prospero's Books. We've got a shot of it there. Prospero's Books is an adaptation of Shakespeare's play The Tempest. It's all about Prospero, who's a magician who lives on an island. And he has a daughter called Miranda. And we're going to play a piece of music about Miranda. Michael Lyman's music is full of energy. It's the musical equivalent of about five Mars, five milliliter of Lincoln series. The orchestra really have to work out quite a lot to prepare for it and also to play it as well. It's a really, really fast and energetic piece. This is Miranda.
very much. His name is Danny Elfman, and he's from America. Danny Elfman is a fantastic composer, and he's also very rich because he writes music for film and for TV. Danny Elfman has written music for Planet of the Apes. He also wrote the soundtrack to Men in Black as well. There you go. And he also wrote some music about this funny little family here. <laughs> this is one of the greatest. I don't know why The Simpsons is such a great show and why the music is so great, but it's just brilliant. The thing is, it's a great example of how music is. It's like what it is. This is The Simpsons. <laughs> Oh, yeah.